we're just talking about y'all. Just interviewing uh, Ronnie Shields talking about the Rosado fight. Yeah. So tell us about that. That's a great fight. I think my boy Big Lou uh, put a little word into it, set it up. Yeah. Shout out to Big Lou. Big Lou. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Where's all the fights? It's gonna be an awesome fight. I'm gonna work my butt off. You know what I'm saying take it to another level. Um, do some things different. What I'm gonna do different this fight is my focus. My focus is a big, big, big um, aspect that I need to uh, have on on 100 during this fight. And so uh, I'm gonna take it. You know, one step at a time, one day at a time. But, uh, you know, we're doing some things that i never done in the ring. We're going to be doing some things that i never done outside the ring. So, uh, you know, I know that one, this fight is pushing me in another position at this 154-pound weight division. Um, Gabriel Rosado is a great fighter. Everybody like, oh, you know, Jamel was talking crap on Twitter. No, man, I wasn't talking crap. Let's get that understood. I spoke from my mind, and I spoke a little out of anger a little bit, but I actually spoke from my mind, and I just was thinking, you know, like, you know, I'm, I'm sh so ready and I'm sure of a world title that I know I could, you know, be the next champion in America. So, you know, how hungry I am is the reason why it sounded so vicious. Right. Um, but I was just, you know, not necessarily calling anybody out, but uh, they gave me the name. The, the money sound right. And I knew that I was going to take that fight. And so that's why I said what I had to say. And um, if you go back, the first thing I said was, you know, how you guys offered me someone that just lost, but instead of trying to give me someone you know, give me a world title. It wasn't an offense to Gabriel Rosado, you know what I'm saying, right. it, uh, or his team. I was saying, put me in there with Catchway with Kid Chocolate or something like that. That would be awesome, you know, right. for my career, for where I'm at in my life. And uh, so, but it is what it is. Every step is a step that we have to take. And um, next fight, shout out to the Rosado team. We're going to put on, he going to put on, we're going to kind of fight. It's going to be awesome. And it's just gonna be more exposure, more publicity. Those haters that don't like me, those fighters that that wish they could fight me, get on that level. We're gonna go there. Those haters, they're gonna eventually be fans. That's what they all did to Floyd. They hated him at first. So I'm you know, not trying to be hated. I want to be loved by everybody. You know, I'm a great yeah. guy, great spirit, great personality. I work hard. So um, you know, look, the guy that's kneeling down right now is a guy that I fought. You know what I'm saying? We just recently fought, but now he's a uh, sporting partner for Laura and a great friend. So, you know, just nothing. You know, it's awesome. Dude. This so, life is great. So, Mel, tell us this, man. A lot of people gave Gabriel Rosado respect after they see him fight. Uh, uh -huh. They found Jay Leon Love. Mm -hmm. You know, they just saw his last fight against Peter K. Chocolate and mm -hmm. then against Triple G Galak. And they said, man, this is the most toughest fight you're going to have in your career. And a lot of people are saying this is going to make your break and shows what you really got. Yeah. So, um, what do you think about this? Are they true? Is this the toughest fight of your career? Do every you think fight, it is? It's, every fight is the toughest fight of my career. Every fight, don't matter if it's the the past two fights. You know, every fight is tough because it's what you go through that makes it a, a challenge. And right now, Gabriel Rosado is the next guy. You know, that's gonna put up that challenge to defeat me or put an O on my record. And now I'm, I'm, I gotta stand my ground. Right. So I'm going to stand my ground. But at the same time, I was taught as a kid by my father not to just stand your grounds, but to dominate. In a, in a, and perform uh, to a, a certain degree where you know you're a winner. You right. see? And it ain't about how you win, as long as you win. And Graver is out of fight Jetty on Love, which was an awesome fight he put on. Um, I can tell you some things that happened in that fight, and it's, it's about confidence when you're in the ring. Mm. Mm. Gabriel Rosado, confidence grew. Same thing against Peter Quillen, confidence grew. But against uh, Triple G, the confidence never grew, you see. You're not a fighter that focuses on what you're doing in the ring. I'm focusing on what my coach is telling me, and I'm focusing on what I'm doing. So, right. end of the day, January 25th, Washington, D.C. We'll be there. I'm going to put on. Everybody said I had an ugly performance against the, the Hopkins. Another fighter that simulate a, 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 a Rosado kind of mm -hmm. um, tough defensive you know, fighter. Yeah, great. So it's gonna be awesome. I, I just see, I see me seeing that. Okay, if I had a bad performance, and I know it, it wasn't the best, mm -hmm. but I know that I could go in there and say, you know, now that that Philly fighter was, you know, that type of fighter, let mm -hmm. me perform better. And these are the things that I should have done two right. fights ago that it would help me defeat. Hopkins better, but now I'm going to do it with Rosado. Rosado is a much stronger guy, much bigger guy. Great name. I'm ready. There you have it. Thanks for your time, man. Yep.